Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Attorney Dan. Today, I want to talk about professional dental corporations. Now, if you are a dentist and are looking to start your own practice and need to form a professional dental corporation, then watch this video because I'm going to share with you some naming conventions and other things that you need to know when forming your own dental corporation in the state of California. So a good place to start is from the California Dental Association, and they have this checklist here. And uh, it's not really a checklist, it's actually just information that you know, right, what you need to know. The differences between sole proprietor, legal requirements, and contracting with the dental plan. But today, I actually want to focus on the, um, the, uh, the legal requirements when filing with the California Secretary of State. So I pulled up the form here, um, and this is the form that you need uh, to prepare uh, your um, professional dental corporation. Now this is a professional corporation. It's used for lawyers, doctors, dentists, physical therapists, and other uh, licensed corporations like that. Okay. But the specific thing here is that when you get to this purpose statement, you'll put dentistry as required by um, as as required uh, by the laws of the state of California. Now there's a couple of things you need to know when forming a dental corporation. Uh, one is actually the name of the dental corporation. So um, you can't just name it whatever you want, right? Like Wizzle Wazzle Dental, right? The name of that is filed with the Secretary of State must have uh, the last uh, must have the name or the last name of one or more of the present, prospective, or former shareholders. So one, at least the last name of one of the uh, owners or uh, former holders, and then also dental corporation or wording abbreviated to denote the corporate existence. So it could be dental corporation, maybe dental corp. Dental Inc. or Inc. Right, um, denoting corporate existence. Now this is uh, very in, uh, different because California, um, at least on the normal corporate level, don't doesn't require you to use the word Inc. anymore. Okay, so the safe play here is just to follow uh, what the rules are and just put uh, Doe John Doe Dental Corporation. Okay, and then um, and then uh, obviously just put dentistry in this section uh, purpose statement. Now, what if you want to operate under a different name in, in marketplace? Like there's lots of children's dental or like Bright Now is a popular chain, right? So uh, what you want to do file there is actually file for a fictitious name permit. So there's actually two places to do it. One is at your county level, but specifically today I want to talk about the fictitious name permit that you need to file with the dental board. So this requires you to file uh, uh, this other form here with the dental board and pay, there's a fee here, $650, right? Uh, but what's really important here is to file file the name style um, under the law and name restrictions, right? So you look at this, um, the uh, states the name of at least, uh, the business court states the fictitious name, but at least the family name of the applicants or one or more applicants, the name or one or more past present prospective partners uh, or um, um, and or, or dental group, dental practice, or dental office, okay? And so uh, the name may be descriptive names such as geographic references and may do no practice, as long as they're not truthful and misleading, okay? And the fictitious may, uh, may be worn line and so do not have to be equal font size. So some examples are, okay. So these are some examples that they give you, okay? So it's really good just to kind of follow along those lines if you can, because that's what they give you. And that's where they're basically saying is okay. Okay, so uh, this is the form here. You're gonna fill it out. Make sure you fill it out in in uh, in accordance to the rules they have. Okay, and so you don't get rejected from the um, from the dental board. Now, after this, you still need to file the statement of information within the, within the first year. Statement of information every year. You probably need some bylaws. Uh, you probably uh, need to issue out the equity. Okay. And so all those other things still need to be involved with this California um, as part of your formation process, get the tax ID number. If you need help getting that and registering your uh, practice with the California uh, Dental Board, we've helped other medical professionals uh, register their practice with, uh, with their board. So we can, uh, happy to see if we, how we can help you. And uh, you know, hope you find this video helpful. If you need help, feel free to reach out to us and we'll see what we can do. Okay, this is Dan, talk to you soon, bye.